once upon a time, not long from now. Our society was built on the vapor dispensing from the underground. It powered every machine in the metropolis, kept us moving forward. But in our desire for progress, we abused its power. I was there when the world ended. I let it happen. I wake up in a daze. How long have I been lying here? I try, but don't remember anything. I have to find out where I am. Everything here is familiar, and yet so changed, so aged. What is this place? This forest is really giving me the rough side of its tongue. What's that ticking? Sounds like a clock running backwards. That device. That's where the ticking is coming from. I invented this. I wonder if it works. Ah, my! Time is unraveling around me! muddled memories unstuck in time. Huh. My head needs rest. Things started coming back to me. My childhood, the monastery, my mentor teaching me about the mystical practices of alchemy and the physical laws of science. Later, seemingly endless experimentations to enchant the vapor to create a new energy source. Then finally, breaking the code and entering a brand new field of awareness. Up ahead, there's some sort of outpost. Maybe I can find some humans around here. Workmanship. My hands. They remember this. They are used to the machinery. There is a time and a place for everything. Yeah. 
That was close. I remember repairing machinery like this in my wagon. My wagon? Where could it be? <coughs> Excuse me. I have to pass the bridge. The metropolis is in a state of emergency. None shall pass. Hmm. We'll see about that. Yeah. <laughs> Trails in the ground. My wagon must be in this direction. We went further than any monk or scientist before us. We fused the erratic nature of alchemy with the rigid principles of science. We had developed a profound power, the Verve, capable of producing miracles, but also forceful enough to create calamity in the wrong hands. We decided never to touch it again. My wagon must be somewhere close. I must find it. <laughs> Oh, that poor thirsty guy. He looks like he's about to kick the bucket. <laughs> <laughs> That alloy metal shell might work as a stepping stone. Why the long face, snail? The snail creature is completely in pieces. She looks like she has lost her shell. Yay! <laughs> Spectacular-licious! Uh, you can talk! Huh. You can hear? <laughs> Stick around, snail. Hey, wait! Don't leave me! Call me? <laughs> you can always whistle, and I'll come running. Maybe you could reach that button for me. <clears throat> hey! Pick me! Pick me! I have something cool to show you! Did you just stop time, Snail? Yup. I was engineered that way. <clears throat> How do I get up there? Come here! My wagon? What happened? That scrap pile is your wagon? Shut up, snail. Let's just get a move on. 
I need someone who can give me some answers. My mentor betrayed my trust. Behind my back, he made a deal to develop the Verve further in his own lab in the metropolis. I knew the consequences could be fatal, but I walked away without saying a word. I became a drifter. Slow down! You can't keep running from your past! Keep your clichés in your shell, Snail. My mentor might have betrayed me, but he's the only lead I have. Let's get to higher ground so we can find a way to the metropolis. Huh. Huh, good thinking. How did you get so clever? How did you get so annoying? Yeah. Yeah. Aw, things aren't so bad. Things aren't bad, huh? I've had it with you, Snail. I didn't ask for your company, now leave me alone. Hungry looking fellow. At least he doesn't jabber all the time. I was a bit too hard on the snail. Snail to the rescue! <sighs> hey, don't get squashed in there. I'll have to find another place to summon her. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Come here. Yeah. Hey. Little critter. Yeah. The regret you were running from. Why don't you just use your time machine to go back and change it? Of course. We'll go to the metropolis and stop my mentor from ever abusing the verve. Snail, you are a genius. I am what now? Hey! Snail! Hey Snail! We're off to save the world! The Metropolis. It's been a while. I can't say that I missed it. There should be a bridge up ahead leading to the city center. 
Please step aside so we can pass. Stop! The city is on a curfew. A rogue alchemist in the lower quarters has put the city in a state of emergency. I hope we're not too late. There's only one way to find out. They're flushing fluid waste here. Hey! Hey! Come here. The city used to be buzzing with life. You lived here? Uh, this place has the best karaoke venues. But where is everybody? Yeah, boy. Snail. Yeah, boy. Oh, 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 you looked like you needed a cold shower. Ew. <laughs> Yeah, boy. Uh, yeah. Hey. You fit like a cork snail. I'll have to find another place to summon her. Come here. Shake a leg, snail. The city center is right ahead. We searched the metropolis and made our way to the city hub. From here, we could find a way down to the lower quarters. I 
I remember this place. Not far from here, there's an elevator going to the lower quarters. If that's really where you want to go. Great. That's where we're going then. <laughs> Snail. Yeah. <laughs> this city is falling apart. Never to set foot in the lower quarters again. That's where the bad things happen. Yeah, boy. Come here. The worker is greasing up the gears of the cement machine. It seems they are trying to seal off the lower quarters. It's broken. Maybe I can find a spare part somewhere. They fit together perfectly. Ticket, no ride in the elevator. Excuse me, I need a ticket for the elevator. I can't cut through to her. plant is in pain. Maybe I can wire something up.
she's happy. I guess that was my good deed of the day. Can I have a ticket for the elevator now, please? Uh-huh. That's our ticket out of here. Here's my ticket. Ah. Let's get to the bottom of this. The air thickened as we descended into the shady mist of the lower quarters. We were getting close to my mentor. I had a feeling it wouldn't be a happy reunion. The lower quarters. My mentor's lab is somewhere down here. We better find him before he blows up the metropolis. <clears throat> This place gives me the creeps. Let's just find this guy and get out of here. What's so bad about this place anyway? The last time I was here, I was thrown away. This is where you were engineered? Yeah, but my creator threw me away like a piece of scrap when, when my brother was born. Yeah, boy. Yeah. I'll take this for a spin. The little punk kid wants to play hide and seek. I've still got it. <laughs> the propeller powers up the old machinery. A wind wind situation. <laughs> Hey, wake up! You're eating the peel! Wow. My broken leg has tied me to this cursed house my whole life. I wish the shack had crumbled like everything else around here. Yeah, the way 
out is through the fire exit. Snail! Snail, I have to finish this alone. But why? You'll need me in there! No. Protect my time travel device. It cannot fall into the wrong hands. I trust you. Ah. See my mentor's lab. Time to face my regrets. Let's see if he's home. Yeah, I smell foul alchemy. Now, where are you? Is this the Verve? It has evolved into a new life form. This has gotten out of hand. Mentor, you knew it was too dangerous to develop the Verve further. You are destroying the metropolis. <laughs> Look around you. All oh, this potential. This is bigger than an insignificant city. <laughs> You've lost it. This madness has to stop. You can try, but you will fail, my friend. Hey, 
mentor guy. Remember me? You disowned me. Now leave my friend alone. You can leave your hat on, Squid. I had it under control. But thanks, Neil. Let us end this together. Huh. He's gone. It's over, Snail. The Verve is history. The senseless experiments of my mentor had been stopped, and the metropolis was saved. My past had been undone, and the future unwritten. Once more, I could gaze toward the horizon and allow myself to hope for a brighter future. If only we would be able to learn from our mistakes.